On this episode, we check out David Weinstein's presentation at the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In this presentation, David talks about the geology research of mesophotic reefs and takes us along on one of his dives. Check it out. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Wow, I'm, I'm all mic'd up. I'm not used to all these wires, so you'll have to uh, bear with me. Uh, my name is David Weinstein. I'm from the University of Miami, and I'm at the Rosenstiel School there, and I'm a PhD student studying uh, coral geology. So, when we're in the Virgin Islands, we start out here, and uh, this is our hotel. Well, a view from our hotel. It's, a, it, we, it's really rough for us. And we go over here to the uh, University of the Virgin Islands. And here's the, uh, the picture there. They, uh, they have a very good facility, so we, we carry all our gear out on the, on the boat. We go out, you know, it's about 11 kilometers out, and we meet the local wildlife. They uh, sometimes join us on our trips. And then it's time to get in the water. So what I'm gonna show you now is a, a quick video of what it feels like to be diving in these reefs. We start on the boat with all our equipment, because we have to get all the way down there. We see the top of the boat when we go in, but then we look down and all we see is blue water. We know the ground's supposed to be down there, but the visibility is uh, 50 to 70 feet, but still we don't see the ground. We keep on going down. You sort of start seeing something. Shapes. And it looks like a bottom, and it's not his ear anymore. He realizes there's a bottom. And you start looking around more, and you realize it's not just a bottom, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, thriving coral reef. Despite the deep depths, these reefs appear. It's healthier, healthier than a shallow reef that you've seen. And it takes a little, you gotta just take it in. It's quite a different type of atmosphere, but the life is unbelievable. Especially you snap back into it and you realize you gotta get to work. You hear me, uh, that's me saying, hey, hey, I found it. So the dive comes to find our experimental sites. Now, they're actually pretty hard to find because they get so well incorporated into the reef. So they're very good uh, examples of what the reef is like. So we take pictures and we document it, and then we collect the samples. Now here, you can see me. Uh, I'm diving with uh, two tanks because we need to be underwater longer, and I also have an orange side tank, and that's filled with a different type of gas to help us um, with the decompression process. It's not your normal type of diving. So we take our fire erosion substrate plates, we put them into these uh, collection containers. We only have about 30 minutes to do this, and then it's time to go back up. Back into the blue. We have to go slowly so the nitrogen uh, gets out of our bodies uh, slowly so that we don't get the bends. There is me on the left, and I, you can see I have the GoPro on my head, but we still have to bring all our gear with us and just wait and wait. But as you get closer to the surface, it gets, gets to be almost an hour underwater, you start to get this great feeling, uh, this wonderful euphoric feeling of uh, almost like a rebirth. You first put your head back out of the water and you leave that completely new world you were in. You get back to the boat and that's really what it's like to dive a mesophotic reef. For more information on the UM Mesophotic Geology Lab, click the link in this video's description. I'm E. Fish, and thanks for watching Aquaparel TV.